Hello everyone, welcome to Come Sit at My Table. Today, we are going to do a really quick and simple main dish that you can have on the table in no time. And all you need to go with it is a little simple salad and some bread. We're going to make tortellini in garlic butter sauce. Let's talk about what we're going to use today to make this dish. First, we're going to use a pack of tortellini. Now, I've got cheese tortellini, as you can see here, but you don't have to use cheese tortellini. You can use any flavor you want. This is a 19 ounce bag, and I wouldn't go much bigger than that with the amount of sauce that we're making today. You could even go a little smaller if you find like a 16 ounce bag, but up to 19 ounces will be fine. The second thing we're gonna use is a cup and a half of chicken broth. And into that chicken broth, we're going to whisk in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Of course, that's going to be a thickener to help thicken our sauce. Now, to start our sauce, we are going to melt one half stick of butter. That's four tablespoons. So we'll just melt that in our skillet. And once it's melted, we're going to add two teaspoons of basil leaves. And if you wanna use fresh basil, you can certainly get fresh basil at the store, chop that up and put it in. Actually, that would be really good. But today, just to show you how quick and easy this is, we're using dried basil. We're also going to add two cloves of garlic minced. Now I've already, I've got a jar of garlic that's already minced and two cloves is equal to one teaspoon. So we'll use one teaspoon of that. And then once we get the entire dish made, we will grate over top of our tortellini some fresh Parmesan. If you have the green tub of Kraft Parmesan, there's nothing in the world wrong with that. You can use it instead of grating up fresh Parmesan if you want. But there's just nothing better than fresh grated Parmesan. So if you've got a block of it, use it, a wedge of it. All right, we are going to start by mixing our chicken broth and our cornstarch. We need one and a half cups if I can find the one and a half, there we go. One and a half cups of chicken broth. Right there. We'll set just a little bit left and we'll set that over there. And into that, we are going to whisk two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, I know there are people that use other things in place of cornstarch, and if you're somebody that uses one of those alternate thickeners, then use it, whatever works for you. But I always just use cornstarch. Now, you wanna whisk that really well because you wanna make sure that cornstarch is dissolved, no lumps left in there, and it dissolves pretty quickly. So just whisk it up really well, make sure it's all dissolved, nothing laying on the bottom. And I'll probably just lay my whisk right here and hit it one more time right before I put it in. Okay, we're going to start our skillet over here and put in our half stick of butter and let that start to melt. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and put in our tortellini. They will take, this bag says it cooks in three minutes, but I have found that usually it's four to five minutes by the time they're done. So we're gonna go ahead and drop those in and get those started. How do you know they're done? You have to use a knife or a fork to stick in them just to see if they're, these are frozen and you keep them frozen until you put them in. So in they go, whoop, sorry, splashed that a little bit. I'm going to grab a spoon and I can stir that with. There we go. Found it. Now we want to bring this back to a boil. So I'm going to turn it all the way on high and let that come back to a boil before we start timing it. And while that is 
coming back to a boil. We'll get our butter melted here. I'm just going to slice it into pats because if you do that, it melts a little faster. So I'm going to do that and just get that spread all over the skillet so it can get melted. Now this garlic butter sauce comes together really, really fast. If you like the flavor of browned butter, then you can cook this butter until it foams and begins to turn brown. And that gives it a, a, a little bit of a different flavor. I'm not somebody who's crazy about browned butter. So I don't normally do that. But if you like that, the original recipe that I found in a magazine said to brown the butter. But I don't normally do that. So, all right, our butter has just about melted. And we're going to make sure that it is cooking there. Let's see, I need a spoon to stir that with. So now that it's cooking, you can see it's completely melted. And so I'm going to add in our two teaspoons of basil. And our one teaspoon or two cloves of garlic. If you want to chop up fresh garlic, that would be wonderful. But, you know, it's just not always possible, especially for working parents who have a family and you've been at work all day. Well, you weren't putting two in there, right? You were just finishing up. Or did you put two? How much of the garlic did you put in? One teaspoon. Okay. Two teaspoons of basil, one teaspoon of garlic, or if you're doing fresh garlic, it's two cloves of garlic. It like, I thought you'd put it in there twice. Mine well, I didn't have the first. You're right. I okay, did. That's what I was talking but about. the first one wasn't full. I didn't have a full teaspoon. I'm going to turn that down because I don't want that to burn. Okay, if you'll look at our tortellini, you'll see that they have started to float. And that tells us that they're about ready to. Now, we need to add in to our butter our chicken broth and our cornstarch. And we will bring that to a boil. All that out there. Okay, let's turn that up. As soon as that comes to a boil, it should start to thicken. Okay, I'm going to turn our tortellini down just a little bit. It's been about three minutes since you started those. So. I'm telling you, it comes together really quickly. Mm -hmm. It's an easy way to get a meal on the table. Okay. Now, while that's happening, I'm going to open my Parmesan cheese. Get that ready to grate. Yeah, I went to get my Parmesan cheese out of the refrigerator this morning. And I had used it all, so I had to go buy a new one. Okay. Now, you can see that our garlic butter sauce is starting to boil, and it's starting to thicken around the edges. You can see how thick it's getting there. That's what we want. Let it to thicken so it will coat the tortellini when we put those in. You see how thick that's getting? Absolutely. That's the magic of the cornstarch. Cornstarch really helps to thicken up that sauce. Okay, we are ready to move our tortellini and you can see that our tortellini are floating. So they are pretty much done. I will turn that off. Take my spider. Let those drain, because we don't want them. I'm gonna turn my sauce down a little bit. We don't want this to become watery, so 
We want to drain our tortellini really well. Now, this amount of tortellini, and I think this was a 19 ounce bag. I just picked it up at Walmart. Um, this should be enough to make at least three or four good servings. I think the bag said it was a four serving bag. So, should be able to get four good servings out of it. Now, all we have to do is stir our tortellini into the garlic butter sauce and we're ready to serve. You, you put that with a nice salad and some hot crusty bread. You've got a meal fit for a king. And you can see how quickly that came together. Now this is super easy fast meal. And it's delicious. This is one of the meals that we just really enjoy. We had this, well, quite often when our kids were growing up. Still have it a lot too. We still have it, but now it makes more than one meal yeah, for us. Yeah, definitely more than we can <laughs> eat in one meal. Yeah, it used to be one meal when our kids were home, but now we have leftovers. And you know, Melissa and I have fun being empty nesters. But there are times we really miss our kids too. We're always happy when they come home. Especially when they come home to stay for a few days. Okay, let me, let me grab a couple of oven mitts. Get all this stuff out of the way. All right, Melissa, I'm going to put this right here. I hope you can see me pouring it in. Let's turn this off. Man, I wish you all could smell this. Oh, it smells really good, doesn't it? That garlic sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Any chance you can grab that spoon right there without Absolutely. moving the camera too much? Scrape that out for me. Your assistant. You can be my sous chef today. <laughs> okay, thank there you, babe. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Now, we have one more thing. You cannot forget the cheese. So let's get our Parmesan. Go back to plastic because we sure don't want the plastic in it. We'll use our microplaner and just, I'm doing this backhanded. I know, I'm on the wrong side of you, sorry. It's okay. We'll put some cheese right on top of it. What do you think about that? Mm, dinner looks really yummy. It does. I'm going to grab a little plate so that we can taste it and of course I need to taste one that has cheese on top well yeah okay are you gonna take the first bite uh, I think I wait because that looks a little bit warm it is hot I know I tend to burn the roof of my mouth but I'm not really careful yeah I have to blow on it look at these they're just like little pillows of cheese. They have cheese inside of them. Nothing wrong with that, huh? That garlic sauce smells so good. Oh my goodness. Mm. These are so delicious. And you saw how fast that was, how easy that came together. Mm. While you're making that, have someone else in your family chop up some lettuce and get a salad ready. Throw some bread in the oven before you start making this and it'll be ready when you're finished. It's a great meal. Thank you so much for watching our video. You sure could help our channel if you'd go right below this video and click that thumbs up, that like button, and the subscribe button that's right below the video. Also, remember that right below the video will be the title of the recipe. If you'll click in that box where the title is, anywhere in that box, the box will expand. 
you will find the written recipe. Melissa always puts the written recipe right there for you so you don't have to write it down as we go. And under the recipe is our contact information. And if you would like, there is a place below that, that uh, description box where you can leave a comment. And we love hearing from those of you that watch our video. So feel free to leave us a comment. Thanks again for watching. Remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.